uh, hand of applause for his, uh, his, the wonderful statement he's given to us. And uh, next, next, uh, I'm very happy and uh, honored to have here with us Rav Ravi J. Shankar. For those of you who do not know, Ravi is the president of HSC, the Hindu Students' Council. And he has come here to represent Hindu Students' Council, which is the largest student association of, of Hindus in, uh, in the country. And he has come to share thoughts with us. And he's, he's a wonderful uh, young leader and a very important person in our community. So uh, let's please give a big hand of applause for Ravi Jay Shankar. All right, namaste. So I am uh, representing the National Body of Hindu Students Council, which is uh, separate from the UPenn chapter. The UPenn chapter actually decided that it wouldn't be appropriate for them to speak at this event, but I'm speaking on behalf of uh, the Hindu Students Council National Body. So this is the statement that we prepared um, for this uh, very, egregious social justice issue. As the uh, largest representative body of the Hindu student population in North America, HSC opposes the recent actions of Wharton Business School in their retraction of their speaking invitation to Narendra Modi. HSC is speaking not from a political stance on this issue. Our views do not reflect the political ideology of any students or our constituent chapters. We are approaching this from a social justice and basic human rights standpoint. We believe that the retraction of Wharton's in invitation to Mr. Modi is a move that has limited student exposure to an individual who may have some valuable experiences to share with the future American business leaders based not on any fault of Mr. Modi's per se, but on biased remarks of a few professors of the university. We, as Hindu Students Council, support freedom of thought and expression everywhere, especially on college campuses, where freedom of learning and access to ideas is most important and serves to help students think critically about the world. The college campus is the quintessential place for social justice and free thought. Thus, free speech on college campuses enhances the marketplace of ideas in the US. Silencing this speaker is akin to stifling the free exchange of ideas that is fundamental to the American experience. This is a big concern for our community, given that Wharton graduates are some of our future business leaders, and as a result of this type of bias in their education, they will have a negative and wrong impression of India, one of the economic superpowers in the world, on the basis of a few misguided professors outside the business school. Mr. Narendra Modi is a democratically elected chief minister of Gujarat, India. Mr. Modi's popular, popularity is largely due to the fact that businesses consistently, including the US India Business Council, rate him the most corruption free and dynamic leader in India. Under his leadership, the, the economy and development of the state of Gujarat has shown significant growth compared to other Indian states, with states which some people contest. This is precisely why he should have been allowed to speak at Wharton, where business students would have had an opportunity to question him directly on what has and hasn't worked for the economy. They would have been able to come up with their own viewpoint on Modi rather than just having to accept the university's implicit decision that he is negative, disadvantageous, or even a malevolent figure. Having the point of view of a non-American with experience in the area of business and economy in an international setting would provide them a valuable chance for growth outside of their sphere of comfort and would challenge them to think outside of the American box. It is unfortunate that students had to miss out on this experience. HSC is the largest student organization in North America that caters to the needs of Hindu students. It exists to promote a balanced understanding of Hindu Dharma, which stands for sustainability, harmony, righteousness, and justice, amongst many other things. The action of Wharton Business School 
to remove a speaker for reasons that are questionable at best reflects values that do not stand in line with our neither leftist nor rightist understanding of freedom and equitability, non-discriminatory, and open-minded decision-making. Thank you.